An Altoona man is facing several charges tonight, including two counts of attempted homicide. After police say he fired his shotgun through his own front door at two people running from his home. Jacqueline Kovac spoke with the man's girlfriend, who says this whole situation is just frustrating. Jackie? Yeah, Mel. Well, the pet, uh, Petty's girlfriend, Annie, told me that she was home when this all happened last night. However, she doesn't understand why it's her boyfriend who ended up in handcuffs. It's not saying anything about him being attacked. And he's out walking around, and he's not locked up, and it's not fair. According to police, James Petty filed a single shot through his own door. But Petty's girlfriend, Annie, who didn't want to go on camera, says there's much more to the story. She says a man came to the home on the 500 block of Crawford Avenue, and the two men began arguing, then fighting. He was probably scared for his life. The guy's a lot bigger than him, and he did have him on the ground. And I tried everything. I'm no match to a grown six-foot-something man, but I tried to get him off of him. Police say Petty then fired one shot from a 12-gauge shotgun with the bullet just missing the victim's head. But it didn't stop there. Police say pellets could be found in the neighbor's fence and garage. Luckily, no one was hurt, but his girlfriend Annie is still frustrated that Petty is locked up behind bars. He's not the monster that they're making him out to be. He was probably scared. I mean, it, none of it should have happened, but they shouldn't be making him out to be the way that they are portraying him. But they shouldn't. Right now, Petty, Petty is in the Blair County Prison facing a number of charges, including two counts of criminal attempted homicide and two counts of aggravated assault. Reporting live in the Johnstown Newsroom, Jacqueline Kovac, 6 News. Jack